Tokes. I'm Troy. Everybody calls me T. Mary Liaison. <laughs> and I'm here with that's Scott Gordon, aka Dark Lord, aka High School Prime, aka Wizard. Did y'all get that? I'm gonna have to say it again, say it again. Scott Gordon, aka Dark Lord, aka High School Prime, aka a Wizard. He sounds like a superhero. That would be lit as fuck. I tell you, I do some crazy vigilante shit. That's funny. I would. I'm telling you. I'm okay, so. Baseball. We just go get into it. I went to a vocational school called OTEC, South Denver Royal Oak, when I was in high school back in 2007. This gentleman right here went in what year? Uh, 2011, I'm gonna say. 2011, four years yeah. after. That just lets you know how old we are. Okay, <laughs> now, he's gonna tell you exactly how this teacher acted, because this is four years after I've already left. I can't tell you how this man acted because it's gonna just kill it. So I'm gonna let him tell you. So when I went to OTEC, I was in a graphic design class and my teacher was Mr. Green. Mr. Green was a straight fucking character. Like he wore, every day he wore Hawaii vacation Uncle Dad shirts. <laughs> And we used to, I used to always get on him about it. I'd be like, and I became that nigga right after that class, which is fucking hilarious. You remember I used to wear Hawaii shirts? I literally nice. got that from that teacher. You so, adopted his swag. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes, that's exactly what he wore. He wore plaid and he wore them Hawaiian shirts. He had a yellow one that he used to cover that hell in. Oh, the favorite one. I know what you're talking about. He wore that like every other fucking Friday. Oh my God. That nigga's hilarious, man. <laughs> but shout out to Mr. Green, a real teacher, a real, you know, a testament to time because he's old as hell. But, you know, he's cool as fuck. But you said he was on, like, his last leg with everybody. Yeah, he was done that year, I believe. I think he retired after that. I think he went, he, no, 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 he did that last, like, two school years after that left. He so the Mr. Green I had, this dude had a joke and a high five. For everybody, yeah. <laughs> we used to do something called football picks. He talks shit, bro. We used to do football picks, and he would let us pick football teams during the season. And that would go towards the points on our grade. They say low battery mode. You want me to click, click close? Is it on something from recording? But yeah, he used to do a whole lot of stuff. Like for me, I used to be able to show up early and work on like beats and stuff like that on the Max. It was my first time using the Garage Band. It was pretty dope. Dude was definitely a character. Like all the stuff about Photoshop and everything like that, I learned from that guy pretty much. It was, I used to fight Mr. Green so much. Like I'm a shit talking ass nigga and Mr. Green is a shit talking ass nigga. So. We just sit there and just go back and forth, roasting the fucking class with each other, and he just be like, "We gotta stop, because we'll be doing this for the whole class." Oh and, yeah. In freaking like, you, did y'all have the rule where you couldn't work on side projects and stuff while y'all supposed to be in class working? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like going into another program while you're supposed to be working. Bro, out no, I put it to you like this. Outside of myself and a few other people. Nobody in that class knew how to be fired like that. Like, to where they could just have a side project that they're working on. Like, everybody was like... He had to leave people's shit while they're working <laughs> on it. What? Mm -hmm. If you're working on a whole project, you don't care where you at. He had to delete it. But, like I said, I mean, we all that shit. Mr. Green fucks with me heavy, right? So, the whole time we're supposed to be doing classwork, sometimes I just opt out of just doing work. So, I'm like... This shit, I know this stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I had did a whole animated cartoon movie of a vampire fighting a werewolf. I did the shit <laughs> frame by frame. It was dope as fuck. I'm mad. I, I had put it on a flash drive. I forget what flash drive I had put it on. But it was a full fleshed out movie. He was like, he watched me do it because he had a monitor set up so he could see everyone's screen. Wow. So, I'm sitting there working on it. He's just looking at me like this. 
Like, I'm just like, I gotta do it. It's the cream. I gotta finish this project. You see his fire. You just gotta let me do it. <laughs> Did he like it? Yeah, yeah. He was like, he was amazed because he was like, He's like, if you would have just applied that in the work, I passed, but he's still just like, you would have been one of my A students, but you not an A student because you didn't care about the work. I'm like, you right. I take that C and I walk out happily. I do not care. I'm just trying to get through this, learn the knowledge, have the equipment to work with. But see, I told you. I motherfucking told you. My bad. I believe it. <laughs> totally like it was supposed to be told. Yeah. yeah. Man, look, I don't want to put nobody on spot, but I went to a company, bought some apparel. Well, we was return we was exchanging some apparel, and I picked up a few extra items. Yeah. And the cashier rung up a few extra more items. And I caught it as she was doing it because I used to be in sales and I used to be a cashier at another at another store, like a, a tech mm -hmm. store. Yeah. So when I noticed it and she rung it up, I said, or she rung it up, I said, that's a, it's a much larger price than I anticipated. And I looked at it, I looked at the receipt, I said, oh, you, you, you charged me for extra these things. And she was apologetic and stuff like that. My wife said, oh, it was a, she may, she just may have made a mistake or whatever the case may be. Now, my wife's credit card was charged and we were there just exchanging something. And I swiped my card to pay for the additional thing. Wait, so what do you do? Oh, you write a letter to corporate? No, no, like Lily, what do you do? What do you mean? I didn't ask, I didn't get to know that, like from his Oh, what I do? Yeah, what do you do? Oh. Like, I got like three jobs. That's reasonable. Uh, <laughs> I work in a general area and I get paid uh, six figures to do that. I can't tell you what it is. It's uh, not compromising technically in any large company or anything like that. I'm a producer and engineer. I actually do have a couple of songs that I'm sitting on right now that'll be released this summer. And I'm the marketing liaison for Mary Documentary. What we're on right now. Nice, nice. I just, I just would have liked to have the information because I was just curious, you know? But about this big kush, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you just see it all in my face. It's just like, God, blowed. Knees are high. I'm not gonna lie. This was actually a pretty good turnout. Yeah. Some people here the smoke, in the early the time right now. It was good smoke, yeah. We <laughs> actually have an hour before shit really starts. Niggas really been smoking. This man started DJing three hours early, and I'm over here like, okay, <laughs> I guess we're starting. Yeah. I swear. I mean, I was just gonna stand there. You know, fast. <laughs> it's been a minute. What is it? What's the last time you did? Like a party? Yeah. Uh. So they took over. I did like a little, little kickback. Like, I just asked like two, two questions. Y'all didn't chill on me. But I didn't like chill, man. Being party and seeing my friend. Exactly. He's combing his ear. He can do what he wants. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Oh, he got him. I'm close to my face all the time. This is what happened when you grow up in Detroit. These are facts. Grand example. Perfect example, actually. Ultraviolence, baby, you always got to be ready. You said that in the most mellow tone of my life, boys. <laughs> that it almost sounded super sarcastic. <laughs> but I know you just pulled out a knife. So, like I'm conflicted, out a knife. my nigga. And did he really just make it seem like it was that fucking dry? <laughs> like, dude. I mean, we seen crazy shit in the world, just yeah. Yeah. These are yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, guess what? if they if they want the numbers to that's go down, true. they should just stop testing. That is true, but that's deep <laughs> issue. They're inflating them right that's now. That's why. Really, they just need to report who actually has it and just leave it there. But they don't want to do that. They want to get them news ratings up. We got Corona. We had it all here. We got these two things. But look, it's crazy, man. Deep from the grapevine. What I've heard is it, it makes them money. Mm -hmm. 
It makes oh, the money. Of it course. makes the money. Oh yeah, that, that's the, the hospital reason. Well, yeah. well, the thing about it is, if you if you think about it now, a hospital has already made over four billion dollars. Yeah, they get something the million for every corona um, death. Well, no, they, get, they actually get about thirteen thousand dollars for every corona death, and they get thirty nine thousand dollars for every corona. You know what uh, I mean? But like, you gotta remember how many people are dying in those. 100, over one hundred and thirty thousand, so they have already earned over one point four billion dollars. Yeah, yeah, bro. I already see. Yeah, it, they they they're going nuts. Then they're like, we're not giving up this money. You you guys can shut up. He has it. He has yeah. it. He's like, but I'm not coughing. And he was just, <laughs> look, he <laughs> has it. <laughs> People that haven't died are dying now. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> My nephew got it. What? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I just, I just think it's funny. Like all jokes aside, we Corona, can quote Corona was one of the best things that happened to the campus. Industry. First of all, I don't care. We can quote the fuck out of Trump. Like yeah. most people can say what they say, but Trump is a meme and a quote, regardless how egregious this shit is. Yeah. And like you can feel how you want to feel about it, but it's mad fucking funny. It just is. Pure the comedy, the China virus, like. Come on, bro. Did you just fucking say that? <laughs> Did you just say that on TV? <laughs> CNN is on his ass. Like, this man won't stay off Twitter. Like, come on. Like, he is the most entertaining president we have ever had. Because guess what? Lay it so all wait, fucking out. What are we supposed to hear on the news? Bro. Most president are posh posh, tip top. But we've been by the book, for a lot of but years. look, most presidents are practically and don't think generals. This is me trying to defend Trump. I'm just, no, 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 no. I just want to know, like, the climates that the news produce be really biased, and normally they all form and like work together. Unison. They, they're unison. Exactly. They're all yeah. with that, all and they're all for the sense of censorship of Americans, especially Black Americans, and they just want to show us in per- certain lights, like they do normally, but. It's like, then if we aren't supposed to be hearing that technically on the news, what are we supposed to be hearing collectively? You know what I'm saying? Because if you know, all these t- it's different news broadcasts all through this motherfucking country. We don't even see shit that happen in certain places because that's their community, that's their problems, and that's how they choose to send I it out. I can tell you why. Because most presidencies have been run as if a general was up there. You see what I'm saying? Military base. What about Nixon? Everybody was pretty what about much. What the one that was an actor? Oh, you're talking about Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan? Ronald fucking Reagan. Ronald Reagan, like, I don't know what people remember of Ronald Reagan, but what I've watched and seen about this dude was a big goof. He wasn't like as intimidating as Trump portrays himself on the media, but he was goofy as hell. Like, he was just doing a bunch of You don't think Ronald Reagan sound like a devil? He was he, pretty much this nigga just an actor in the fucking he White House. Cowboy. I'm the president, y'all. You know? <laughs> well, you gotta look at it. You have people that come through there that are militant. You have people that come through there that are just like to the left. This is our time to have that person to the left because guess what? We had Obama. Obama was he had to be upstanding. He had to, he had to be like the freshest tuxedo in the goddamn world every time. Had to be no matter what. Then you have Bush. Bush was a puppet. He was just. I mean, they're all puppets. A, a stand, a, he was really just a standing guy with a blue suit with a red tie. Yeah. And then his, he was there for the coat, bro. What you talking about? There was a party going on, and Bush was trying to have first dibs. <laughs> you feel me? Like, Bush was like, go over there, get that oil, get that gold. Bush. Shit, bring me some of that powder, too. Yeah. Put it on my lap. That nigga Bush was going crazy. <laughs> Bush was really making money in that bitch and just turn it up. Being high at the fucking press conference and shit. You oh, see this eyes? That nigga be lit. Bush be gone. He be like, you guys, you guys better listen. They're going to blow some shit up. I, I'm telling you they're going to blow it. And everybody just freaking out because we listening to this coke freaking head. And no, not saying that coke is bad because coke is an interesting drug at, drug at a party. But not in your motherfucking White House. I mean, the name might be white, but you ain't got to bring it there too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is just crazy. Like, these presidents just be goofing off, bro. Fucking Bill Clinton playing the saxophone and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, he, I'm 
Honestly, we need to just go back and see what the relationship of cannabis were, was for each president. All the way back. True. But they, they all, all smoke. Way back. They all, all smoke. smoke. Almost every single one of them smoke. Almost every single one of them smoke. Can't smoke. Can't smoke. Can't smoke. Can't smoke. Can't smoke. That nigga 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 smoke. You feel me? I'm about to tell the American people about aliens, niggas. Mm-hmm. It's like the you fuck fuck is is real. Yeah. They lost their mind and they took his mind. Kitty oh. tiger. Kitty <laughs> <Kenny> tiger. <laughs> High as hell. Kitty tiger. 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 So, so <laughs> you had if you had one story, topic, or category that you'd want to put in the Mary documentary, what would that be? Internet's perception on weed in general. Mm. You know, like, with meme culture, we can be taken so many hilarious ways. And I'm, I'm a meme digger, so I'll be on there fucking watch. It's some memes I don't get, but I know a lot of people love. It's the Hispanic memes. When it just be memes in, in Spanish, I'll be like, I translate it. I, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to teach me, uh, what's going What's the What's the shit? The jewel shit? The, uh... Is it the Sims? No, 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 no. The thing that teaches you languages. It's, not, it's something like Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. They trying to Rosetta Stone me while I'm looking at me. I'm just trying to read and go. It's alright. It's alright. But I would love to see memes perception on me, you know, because they do cover. They help it digestible for kids, you know. Memes is like a new way to teach kids social issues. Hmm. I, I didn't think about it. Like never that. seen them. Like I mean, never that. thought about a meme being education. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you social. just got to make it funny, and kids will literally take it in. Humor is the best way to receive knowledge all the time. Well, and kids absorb that way faster than anything. Mm-hmm. That is true. Okay. Think about they got taught the appropriate ways about me. What about we do memes? That's true. You can make it funny as fuck well, without making it corny. Because it's a meme. So well, think about that's how we all learn about. That's how we all learn about weed anyway through like the funny movies that we see. Yeah, big facts. Uh, half baked. Definitely. How you know, high? How high? Beef some butthead without you them even smoking in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just knew they was love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stoner humor. Yeah. Stoner humor. Stoner humor. Yeah. Just real stoner humor. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Wayne World. Wayne oh, yeah. Uh, what was they just versions though? No, they, they were high for sure. Stoner. They were stoners. They were stoners, they were stoners yeah. for sure. Yeah. They for sure had stoner yeah. vibes. Super stoner vibes. I mean, I watch Wranglers, but I don't know. I, I just perceive because of Mike Myers, you know. It's, just, it's like I always think he's on something in the movie, so. He was high. He was in the White House. He was in the White House, something. 